G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today on the bench we have the Flytech V009. Now this is a turbine driven jet boat, so it doesn't have an outboard prop or rudder, okay guys? So it is actually uh, turbine driven where it sucks in the water from underneath the boat and then pushes it out the back, okay? That's how you get your uh, acceleration and turning as well. So it's an all-in-one sort of system. Now, I've always wanted to feature this uh, particular model jet boat on the channel for you guys. Um, I actually tried to get one last year, but they were always out of stock. Um, I believe the very first ones that came out were only in the white color, and you had two sets of decal sheets in red or blue that you can apply to this boat. Now it seems to me this year uh, Flytech have just basically updated this boat. Uh, rather than adding the stickers on yourself, this one comes in two different colors. So we've got a black one here, and we've got the orange one. Now I have the orange one here. Um, if you're familiar with the uh, Horizon Hobby Jet Jam boats, basically this one looks identical guys and it's actually half the price. So this is alternative to the Horizon Hobby Jet Jam which this is based on. If you're on a bit of a budget, alright guys, you could probably get two of these to one of those Jet Jams. So anyway, we'll have a quick look at this. Um, there's a bit of a photo here I'll just show you of the jet drive there, okay, it runs on 2.4 gigahertz frequency of course and on the top of the box we've got the ages 14 plus but pretty much anyone can uh, use this boat even younger than 14 plus looks like we've got an over distance warning feature here so if you're starting to get out of range and the signal is starting to get weak on the, your transmitter it will start beeping okay we've got self-riding option jet pump of course because it's a jet driven boat and low battery warning as well all right guys so let's open the box have a quick look and then i'll take it out on the water and see how it performs okay so here's how it comes in the uh box guys in this uh blister packaging all right so let's have a quick look here what we get in this bag to start off with is a usb charger okay charge the battery up Got some Allen keys there and some screws as well. All right, some spare parts by the look of it. Here is the user manual it comes with, guys. So everything that you need to know. It looks like it's in both Chinese and English. Okay, so you just go through this. And uh, yeah, everything you need to know will show you all the functions and a bit of information about the motor as well all right and we've got some parts lists on the back here which is good okay now onto the transmitter here you know it's pretty uh lightweight it's made out of cheap plastic we've got a foam wheel on the side here which is rather nice and it looks like we've got some functions here let's just bring it in here uh, we've got a reset button that is your anti-capsizing button speed button now i believe this one has three different speeds low medium and high i'll test that out down at the pond we've got your directional trim and your basic uh on and off switch and that's pretty much it now i believe this one will have an inbuilt speaker to sound those warning beeps uh once you've got low battery and uh also when you're uh, starting to get out of range and this one looks like it will take about four double a batteries obviously i've got to take a screw out to gain access to that so uh yeah not a bad little uh controller for this boat okay guys onto the flytech v009 jet boat here i really like the design of this boat it's just got that you know aerodynamic look to it and as you can see if you're familiar with the jet jam this one is identical guys in its design and color especially in this bright uh orange okay um We've got a rubber nose on the front for any impacts. As you can see, it's more rounded than your typical uh, RC boat, which has a pointy nose to it. We've got a spoiler on the back as well, okay? And right at the back, we can see the turbine system here, which has a built-in rudder, okay? So you've got your propeller inside there, and it just pushes the water out, okay, from underneath. So here we go. Got some vents underneath here. And the water gets sucked through there and goes straight out which will propel this boat on the water all right guys now it looks like if you have to do any maintenance in the future you've got phillips head screws you've got a total of eight there to pull this boat apart should you need to i uh, highly doubt you would need to but uh if you need to work on it 
you can rather easily, all right, guys? So the top uh, canopy here has just got one latch on there. As you can see, it comes off rather easy. As you can see, we've got six locking tabs for the inner uh, cover here. So let me just undo those. Okay, so just take the inner cover off there. And as you can see, it has a gasket going all the way around this cover to keep it waterproof and any water getting inside. All right, so let's have a look underneath here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a 390 size brushed motor there. Okay, we've got an aluminium coupling just here for the jet drive. Looks like the servo here has been uh, siliconed up to keep it waterproof and tucked in on the side of the boat here we have the all-in-one ESC receiver combo. Now it looks to be the on and off switch is also tucked in there as well. Now at the front here we have the 1500 milliamp hour 7.4 volt lithium ion battery pack which consists of two 18650 cells. Okay guys, so um, yeah, they're stating on the listing that we're gonna get about 15 minutes or quarter of an hour runtime with this boat, which is pretty decent. All right guys, well that wraps up the uh, overview here on the bench. I pretty much covered everything. Uh, yeah, it's got a low warning battery alarm, low signal warning and distance warning. Uh, I think I didn't mention the range. The range with this uh, transmitter to the boat is stated to be 150 meters range. So that's pretty decent as well. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna charge it up now, put some batteries in the transmitter, and then I'll meet you out at the pond. We'll see how this uh, Flytech V009 Jet Jam clone <laughs> goes on the water. All right, guys, so I'll catch you then. Okay, guys, I'm down at the pond here with the V009 from Flytech, the Jet Jam copy, okay? Got it powered up, the remote. And I'm out at this pond again. So let's uh, see how this one performs. First time running it. It looks like we're in low speed. So put up in third. This is the highest rate of speed. Very quiet little boat. So not too bad. It's so pretty cool. It uh, definitely ain't no speed demon, but uh, good one for the kids to learn on, I think. The good thing about these little jet boats is that you can run them in shallow water because there's no outboard prop or long rudder to take it through the water feature there, the fountain. Nice bright orange colour which I like, you can easily see it. Good controls, very responsive. Very tight turning circles there. And it definitely looks like the Horizon Hobby model, the Jet Jam. Extremely quiet, hardly makes any noise at all. Now I notice the uh, connector plug on this is one of those little black uh, connector plugs that a lot of nickel metal hydride and NICAD batteries have. So you can actually run this one off a LiPo with a JST. Let's see what happened here, it's slowing down a bit. Maybe something got sucked up or it might be taken on water, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. Hopefully it's not taken on water. So it did just slow down. 
Oh yes, it's got a bit of water in there guys. Wow. Okay. So that's a bit of a bit of a downer there. That's taken on water rather quickly. But as I was saying, the plug that's on the battery here and on the ESC, it's one of those black plugs. And um You'd be able to use a red JST lipo. Mm -mm -mm. There we have it. So it does seem to take a bit of water on. This is a pretty cool looking boat. Take it through the water feature again. It does state that it's got 150 meter range. You just want to keep this one moving in a straight line. I think possibly when I was doing those donuts, maybe it was sucking in the water because it was in one spot. Let's check these speed rates. So I want to check these speed rates. This is the lowest speed. That's the middle speed. Which I wouldn't really recommend because then it's going to fill up with water again going at those low speeds. So if you do happen to purchase this boat, just keep that in mind. I'd keep it in the third speed rate. Seems to be going alright. hasn't really slowed down that much at all since I took the water out of it. It's a shame that it filled up the way it did. Maybe this one ain't sealed properly, I'm not too sure. It's pretty responsive on the uh, controls here, left and right. And with a boat like this, you don't really need much room. This would be even okay to run in your backyard pool with the kids. Cool looking boat though. I like it. I like the looks of it. And I like the colour of it as well. So they claim a pretty long run time with this one, 15 minutes. So they state. Running off this little uh, 390 powered motor. I just want to check if it's filled up again with water guys. I'm just curious. Yeah, it feels like there might be more some water in there. Let's have a look if it's got any more water in there. Got a plane flying overhead. Sorry about the noise, guys. And yeah, there's a fair bit of water in there, guys. Wow, what a shame. Wasn't expecting that at all. So yeah, it's um, taken on water. I don't think it's from the top here. I think it's from this bottom section. Maybe it's not sealed up properly. I might have to, uh, before I take it out next time, is seal it up with a bit more silicon myself and see if that makes any difference. Now this is supposed to have an anti-capsizing feature. Might as well just try that out now. Okay, you've got to press this reset button here. And there you have it, it works. Okay, so that works. G'day. So as you can see, once you capsize it or tip it over, 
just press that reset button and it'll tip back over itself. That's a pretty good feature. Because I noticed this boat doesn't ha really have sensors. Like your typical um, RC boat, you've got sensors on the bottom. So once it uh, detects that it's in the water, it will actually bind to the controller. This one you can actually work the motor outside the water and it doesn't have any on the top either. So it's good that how it works the way it does with the anti-capsizing feature. But as you can see, rather disappointing that it takes on water guys. I'm a little bit disappointed at that. I think they stated around 35 kilometers or 30, 35 kilometers on the listing. The speed of this boat and I can tell you that doesn't look like it's going 30, 35. Maybe about 20 at the most. I'll have to see the price of this one again. I think it's around the $60 mark. US dollars that is But it is nice and quiet <laughs> that's for sure I'll do one more lap Around the water feature and then we'll bring it in. I'm not going to uh, run it till its battery is flat. It seems like it does go have that long uh, run time. I think we've seen enough. Don't want this video to go on too long. And I just picked up by going through that <laughs> section there. I picked up a little bit of uh, a leaf there. Okay, guys. So yeah, I can feel there is some more water in this one once again. So yeah, just. Keep that in mind guys, if you do happen to get this boat There is a bit of a water issue with my one anyway um, I'd say look out a couple of reviews and see if other people have had the same issue I got a feeling this sealant in here Might need a bit more silicon possibly It looks like it's done pretty decently but uh, I think the water might be coming from there. Not so much from this top cover. Okay. Uh, it is possible that it is coming through there, but I highly doubt it. I think it's uh, mainly coming from the uh, from the bottom here, through the vent here. So anyway, I might as well uh, turn it off. Okay. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm a bit disappointed about that, guys, to be honest with you that it's taken on water the way it does. Uh, I wish it didn't do that, it would be a much more pleasurable boat to drive. So my conclusions, do I recommend this Flyhaul V009? Well, for the price, I think it's around 60 odd dollars um, on Banggood. I'd have to recommend maybe look for something else, guys, in the same price range. Um, the way it takes on water, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed about that. It's a cool looking boat, don't get me wrong, I do like the design of it. Um, it looks identical to the Horizon Hobby Jet Jam. Now I haven't tried that particular model, which costs, I think, double the price of this one. I don't know if there's any inherent problems with that one taken on water. Maybe if you do own that one, you can let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, the way this one takes water on, you have to bring it in every so often, every few minutes like I was showing you today. On my first run of this boat and um, I mean you see that it will slow down and yeah you just got to bring it in guys if you do have the same issues I am having here with this particular one today um, yeah it's rather disappointing so anyway look I'll leave a link to this one below you can check it out for yourself I also leave a couple of links to other boats that I do recommend around the same price range okay and you know I'd rather go for something else to be honest with you but uh, Anyway, what I might do is uh, see if I can solve the issue 
uh, myself at home and if I can I might take it out again and test it out again see if it takes water again but uh, anyway thanks for watching the review of the Flytech V009 if you haven't been new to the channel thanks very much for tuning in to Perth West Oz RC for the rest of you guys that tune in thanks very much for watching once again and I'll catch you on the next video until next time enjoy the hobby and happy RCing bye for now guys